So healthy living is really like flossing your teeth. So hi, I'm Janice from Gravitate Coaching and it's Thursday and I wanted to hop online and talk about what this means. Why am I talking about flossing my teeth? So if you hop on, let me know. Uh, I'll let Facebook spread the word, but if you hop on, uh, shoot me a message, say hello, and um, let's talk about this. So there's so much information going on uh, right now, um, which is awesome, right? You can pretty much get, you have information at your fingertips, but how is healthy living related to flossing your teeth? So I kind of see it kind of one and the same, right? So really, we all know we need to floss our teeth. Just like we all know we should be eating healthy and we should be exercising. But the information is kind of overwhelming, right? So we all know we need to floss our teeth. We all know that if we don't floss, especially over a long period of time, that it starts to do kind of an injustice to our mouth, right? So especially when we start to get lax and brushing our teeth, that all of that starts to have a ripple effect. So let's start from the beginning. You go to the grocery store, the wherever, the store, and you're like, ah, I need to get some dental floss, right? There's so many options now. There's options. There's the regular kind, old school kind that you floss with. There's the picks, the double pick uh, flossing. There's the satin kind, the gloss kind. There's so many options right now just to pick for dental floss. Um, let alone being in the habit of flossing your teeth, um, being in the habit of brushing your teeth um, effectively. Um, and as you start to um, lose sight of doing those on a routine basis, things start to happen, right? Over a long term, you start to have some serious issues in your mouth. So it, it really is related. So that healthy living and flossing your teeth are a lot in the same. So again, so you now you have all these choices, right? You go to pick up some dental floss and you know, you want to make sure you stick with the habit or you know you need to do it. Maybe you've completely got off the track and you know you need to do it. So now you go you're standing in front of the aisle of, what dental floss should I choose? Well, not one fits all, right? So everyone's got kind of different uh, makeups of their teeth, just like our health. So it's really the same analogy that, hi Carly, how are you? Uh, shoot me a comment, shoot me a hello. Uh, I'm glad you joined in. So it's one and the same analogy that you have so many choices right now of just what dental floss to choose. You know you need to floss your teeth. You know you need to get it done. You know you might be exhausted and tired and might not want to make it happen. But over a long-term effect, it starts to do damage inside your mouth. And um, so I want to kind of come full circle with that and how that affects your overall health and how the correlation is. So we all know, like going back to the beginning of the conversation, we all know that we need to have this healthy lifestyle and we all need exercise. But you know what? Not every healthy eating lifestyle plan fits everyone. And there's so much available right now. Um, so there's regular clean eating, which I believe everyone needs to start with. You gotta get the toxins out of your body. So tip number one, start with that. Um, but there's so many, just from a just from a diet standpoint, that's where I meant like information overload. So there's gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, um, just standard clean eating, there's um, the low fat, um, or sorry, low fat living, there's uh, the low carb, high fat, which is more of your ketogenic style diet, um, regular paleo diet, or like what I'm doing, the autoimmune uh, paleo uh, diet. So again, so many options, right? And it can be like literally overwhelming of where do you start? So. Same with exercise. We all know we need to do it, just like we all know we need to floss our teeth. But making it happen and making it a habit every single day, um, consistently and routinely, can be hard. Especially if you've had a rough day, a bad day. Um, so, same with exercise. There's so many different options. Where do you start? So, if you're, I'm talking to you. You're the one. You know, I know you're struggling that where do you start, where do you begin? There's so many choices. So let's go over this. Make the decision, the choice to make a change, to just start. Get an accountability partner. Get a support team behind you that is going to 
guide you, motivate you, push you, because um, it's so easy when you're in it and doing it by yourself to just quit. It is. So get yourself support, get on a team, get an accountability partner, somebody that's going to be your cheerleader um, to help keep pushing you forward. Um, and three is to just start by clean eating. Start by removing a lot of the processed foods and start removing a lot of the toxins um, that you've been introducing into your, um, in your daily um, eating habits. So starting with that, before going gluten-free, dairy-free, because a lot of that can be overwhelming unless you've got that personality to handle it um, and commitment. So, so those are the three tips. Sorry, the lighting. I'd like to move and talk and the lighting. Anyway, so so the, the tips of getting you started and moving um, to just making a change. So, hey, Rochelle, how are you? Comment, say hello. Um, so really starting with making a choice to make a change. So whether it's choosing with dental floss, um, choosing uh, just to literally make a change in how your lifestyle is from a healthy a healthiness standpoint. Um, so that's number one tip. So two is getting support, an accountability system, a support team, a cheerleader, a coach like myself, anyone to help you stay motivated, to keep you focused. And hi, I miss you too, Rochelle. I do. Um, we need a chat. We need a chat. I miss you. So, so number two, get support. Going at it alone is hard. It's hard when there's so much information and where do you start? Um, so that's number two tip of the day. And, um, number three is just, just start simple. Start with just getting rid of kind of like the crap. So, the analogy going back to like the teeth, not to be gross, but if you were literally brushing your teeth with, well, let's just go for it. If you were brushing your teeth with crap, you're, you're not doing any justice for your mouth. Same with if you're not moving and you're putting like literally like crappy food in your body all the time, your body isn't going to function very well and it's going to start to fail on you. So kind of the same with your teeth. So yeah, anyhow. So, I just want to be more um, happy. Uh, so, yeah, three easy tips, and that's kind of the correlation. They're really, you know, kind of really related and making it happen. So, yeah, so I hope this has been very helpful for you. Um, if you have any questions afterward, um, hop online, comment here. I'll um, take a peek on it. And have a great day floss um, and uh, get started. Just get started today and get yourself some accountability, some support and start getting rid of the crap. So have a great day. Talk to you later.